Want to hang some cabinets from your hardware store? Check out this video and we'll show you how. Bless my neighbor, he taught me the French cleat technique, which is a simple way to just hang your cabinets up like this and put them in place nice and easy. French cleats are consisted of a long piece of plywood the length of your cabinets, cut at a 45 degree angle. In case you don't have a table saw, ask your hardware store or find a handy neighbor with one. The French cleat design has two halves that lock together. Just to illustrate that, we have the wall cleat on the left side, which has the hook pointing up, and then you attach the other half to the back side of the cabinet. And then when you lift the cabinet, you essentially hook it into the wall. <clears throat> Next, we wanna know where we're gonna mount the wall portion of the French cleat. So note where you're gonna put the top of your cabinets and also note the width of the piece of plywood before it was cut, that's X. So we're gonna take the top of the cabinet measurement and then minus X measurement, and that will tell us where the bottom edge of our wall half of the cleat goes. So here we have the top of the cabinet, there's X, and we measure down, and that's where our wall cleat goes. So the plywood on the bottom is just three quarter inch. It's just cut to length and it's there to mainly provide support. We're now ready to cut the cabinet portion of the French cleat, which is the top half. And just a note here, these cabinets are from just the hardware store and the backing of them is really thin. So I'm pre-drilling the edging of it all so that there's actually some material to drill into and that's where we're going to be getting all of our support to connect these cleats into the cabinet. Another one and another one and another one. Now that we got the wall cabinets on the cleats, what we're going to do next is actually get them to line up perfectly because there's a little bit of a difference between them. So there's about a millimeter or two, let's say. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take off just opposing doors so that we can actually clamp on the boxes themselves and get them to line up perfectly. And then what we'll do is we'll just put some uh, three quarter inch screws to join the two boxes together. And then I'll give them that extra rigidity. Now that everything's lined up, I can see that there's about, about a quarter inch gap here where I'd like to suck this up a little bit. And these screws, there's a little bit of an oval bit here, and you can see they're sitting at the top of the screw of the oval bit. So this oval bit, we can move it up um, all the way to the top, I think, and that should give us our quarter inch we're looking for. So let's give it a shot. And let's see, well, we're still low, but we're at least level with the rest of the box. And we might be able to do some more fine adjustments, so I'm just gonna keep trying this out and see how far we can get. So we did some finagling. We went from a quarter inch to eh, quite a bit less. So it's definitely still there, but I have three kids. It's a garage cabinet, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna sweat the small stuff. So, all right, our cabinets are in. And I know vacuum cleaning sucks, but somebody's gotta do it. And voila, the cabinets are installed. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you can, and send us some comments below.